Good day, G4G enthusiasts. My name is Bob Becker, and I wanted to introduce you to this wonderful item, which I call a hypertile. Some of you might recognize it as a hyperbolic paraboloid, bordered by, what, four edges of a tetrahedron? Um, 30 years ago, I came up with the, uh, an idea for making a construction toy based on this, um, and it actually all goes back to my college days when I happened to have this man, Erwin Hauer, as an art professor. He taught a course in 3D design and he showed us these sculptures he was making, these beautifully curvy sculptures that were all made of repeating units and the units were usually hyperbolic surfaces, um, aka saddle structures. And um, later on I was uh, playing with my daughter, uh, this is years later, uh, with little plastic pieces, uh, something called polydron, um, and they snap together and you can, there are triangles and squares and you could make cubes and octahedron out of them, but um, I all of a sudden thought, whoa, what if those surfaces, what if those tiles were something hyperbolic? Could you then perhaps snap them together to make a uh, shapes like Erwin Hauer had developed. And, um, well, again, that was 30 years ago. I had that idea, but it had to wait till 3D printing and my retirement to actually uh, realize that dream. Um, so here it is. Comes in a handy little box here. Kind of looks like Pringles, only they're square and they're colorful and I wouldn't eat them. And the connectors on the end. So the connectors, I'll show you what they look like. I'll hold that up to the camera there, maybe. That came from a student I had one of my last year's teaching. I was trying to figure out how to connect them. And she says, what about Lego hands? So you can think about the little Lego characters' hands that would grasp onto that. Okay? And they do just that. They grasp onto the side here. And then you can connect them. And it could be a hinge. And all kinds of things are possible. This is kind of the quintessential hypertile shape, which I love. I call it an exploded tetrahedron. I think you probably see why. A tetrahedron whose triangles have been exploded outward, um, but still all connected. And this continues. This is just part of an ongoing series. Here's one made in black and white that goes on to the next stage, but it's got wonderful little images as you rotate it around. Um, here's a fun one I call the spiky pickle. Kind of looks like a barber shop sign there. Okay. Um, you can also connect them not edge to edge but more kind of corner to corner and uh, obtain shapes like this. If you recognize this, it's the uh, actual structure of diamond, the carbon atoms arrangement in the crystal of diamond. And this one, by the way, if you hold it up in the light, gives some amazing shadow projections. You could probably kind of see some of the different possibilities as I angle it around like that, but um, really impressive in terms of shadows and stuff. Uh, pretty much anything's possible. Uh, more importantly, unlike Legos that I know they come with uh, 60 to 70 page instructions and you end up with something looking like Battlestar Galactica or something like that, here it does come with uh, not really instructions but more of a kind of a page to get you going. And there is no right answer. So, anyway, um, hyper tiles. Uh, I hope you're interested in them. Um, I've, I've donated five of these sets to the auction. And um, if you're interested, um, oh, age groups, uh, I think really anyone from six and older, um, younger than that, three, four, five, um, fine motor uh, skills becomes maybe an issue. But seriously, six and up, um, had lots of success with it. Uh, I've done workshops and and uh, really <laughs> six up to 106 in terms of the ages. So if you're interested, bid on hyper tiles.